From the Opepco Studios in Oklahoma City, I'm Barry Trammell. This is OU writer Ryan Aber. And uh, Ryan, you had a great story in the paper today. Uh, Baker Mayfield, uh, his uh, appeal denied, won't be eligible for the Oklahoma Sooners this season. Yeah, it's no real surprise uh, knowing the NCAA rules and how, how hard Texas Tech has, has fought this, this issue. They, they finally relented on Baker getting a scholarship. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, there's still some issues with the NCAA rules trying to get a waiver for that, but he uh, looks like he will not play in 2014 and will be a junior uh, next year in 2015, barring uh, some other action in the next few months. Does Baker Mayfield still have an appeal to try to get that, that extra year of eligibility? Yeah, OU can keep asking Texas Tech for as long as they want to try to, to get them to, to waive that rule. It, it is a Big 12 rule. They can appeal to uh, a board uh, with the Big 12 and hope they get, get uh, that like that. And the Mayfield family remains confident that that could happen, but uh, that's several months down the road. There's no real uh, push for this. It really wouldn't matter for a couple of years at least. So uh, there, there's no real sense of urgency. And, and as you know, even with a sense of urgency, the Big 12 and the NCAA doesn't move very fast. So where does this leave the OU quarterback situation? Sooners were hoping that Baker Mayfield could provide some depth this season. Now that won't happen. Well, Cody Thomas right now remains the backup, at least on the depth chart. Now, I don't know if Trevor Knight were to go down. You've got to think that uh, there's a good chance they would move Blake Bell over. He's taken reps at, at quarterback in practices. He's the guy who's proven that he can win in the Big 12. Cody Thomas has thrown, uh, I believe, four passes in the, the Tulsa game. Uh, very inexperienced. Having Baker Mayfield eligible would have given them so much more flexibility. He's a guy who's proven he can win in the Big 12 last year as a freshman at Texas Tech. Even as a walk-on, he came in and won big games early. Well, as it stands now, I guess OU is, uh, has to settle for the Big 12's best <laughs> scout team quarterback. Stay tuned for further OU football coverage here on News OK and every day in the Oklahoman.